Hi guys, what is up and welcome back to another mod showcase review on the channel. And today we are going to be going over a mod that adds in two new dimensions, both with what I feel is a great amount of intrigue to me. This is the Good Night Sleep mod. It adds in a good dream and a nightmare dimension. So it has its corresponding oars and mobs for each dimension, one being obviously a good time, nice, safe and happy, and the other being your worst nightmare. Now, before we get into that today though, guys, if you are new to the channel, make sure to subscribe, hit that notification bell, and then slap that like button. You know what I do. Now, this is the Good Night Sleep mod. It adds in two new dimensions, the good dream and the nightmare. Each dream land is accessed through sleeping in its corresponding beds. Now, eventually you will be able to craft these two beds behind me, but you need to craft this one here first. And this one is crafted with these two fungi behind me. We have these two variants and they are, if I can find them, the hope mushroom and the despair mushroom. You are able to find these mushrooms in the overworld, even, but they're, they're a lot rarer. They're a lot rarer to find in the depths of caves, but in the nether they are more common. So probably best just to head off to the nether, find these two mushrooms, and once you get these two mushrooms, you can craft this strange bed. Can be crafted out of any bed type, and it will give you the strange bed. Um, so there you go, you can use literally any colour type of bed, it will give you the strange bed. And once this bed has been made, pretty much all you got to do is sleep in it. And it's going to whisk you off, whisk you away to one of the two dimensions. With this bed, it is random what dimension you will go to at first. But once you're in those dimensions, you can get the corresponding gems I have over there to craft the beds that will take you to their specific dimensions. So this one here is the hope or the good dream dimension is the luxurious bed, which is crafted from the positive gem and the strange bed put together. So that will take you away to the good dream dimension. In, you know, opposites, we have the wretched bed, which is crafted from the negite gem, which is a gem found in that nightmare dimension. So that is how to craft these beautiful and pretty awesome looking beds, I must say. As of the moment, the dream uh, dimension has had more stuff done to it. There are supposedly going to be lots of new ores, materials, mobs, dungeons, bosses, and multiplayer compatibility to be eventually added, as well as with some unique and custom sound effects, which I am very much looking forward to and I think would be an amazing idea to add to this mod. But let's get on with actually looking at the dimensions now. So welcome to the dream dimension. This is a happy and peaceful dimension. You can find various creatures here such as unicorns, baby creepers. There is candy everywhere in this dimension and the home of the positive or the positite or rather and there are some awesome armors you're able to craft from this dimension as well. We have the candy armor, the rainbow armor, and the positite armor as well. And all their corresponding weapons and tools. These are the different ingots and gems. So here we have the rainbow ingot, we have the positite gem, and we have the candy. You're going to have to craft the candy into blocks to craft the armor and weapons. So let's give a little example here. So you need to craft the hard candy, which is made like that. To craft this guy, you need to use the rainbow blocks, which is just rainbow ingots found around the world. And then the positive gem, which you're gonna find around the dimension as well. Lots of different blocks added into this place. It looks phenomenal. There are a few different biome-like areas, so you can see it split up here. There isn't a designation given to the different biome areas. Look at the pretty little sheep. There are some bugs in this world um, that it seems like the 
everything's conjoined. Seems to be the bug I've come across, which I might have to let the mod creator know. We have a solo pig. He's fine. He's chill. Yes, we do have unicorns in this world and baby creepers. This world is fine. You're A-OK -okay to run around this world and not be threatened with death. Pretty much. Look at this guy. It's beautiful. And there are time limits on how long you are allowed in this dimension. Obviously, unless you disable daylight uh, cycle. So after about 20 minutes, when you see the sun setting in this dimension, you are going to be whisked off back to the bed you slept in originally. So you are only going to be able to run around this place for about 20 minutes or so, which I feel like is a pretty neat feature. And if you really don't like that feature, you can disable it. A similar thing is for the nightmare dimension as well, which we'll take a look at. But let me just spawn in the little baby creeper because I haven't come across him yet flying around and I really want to show you guys him because he is absolutely gosh damn adorable. Look at this guy. Couldn't hurt a fly. Adorable. Love him a lot. Now let me welcome you guys to the nightmare dimension. In this dark and gloomy dimension you can find every hostile mob in the game. That is madness. Including a unique mob such as the Tormentors, we will look at those in a bit. These creatures have a chance to wither and blind you when hit, when you hit them or hit by you, whatever. You can also find undead horses in this dimension, which you can tame. Oh, and also, don't forget to watch out for Herobrine. Uh, he is roaming around this area, apparently. He's not a mob egg that you can spawn in as of yet. But apparently he is roaming around this place ready to kill you. So watch out for him. And uh, yeah, there is also the ore in this dimension called the Negite ore, which is the red one, if I'm remembering correctly. Yes, it is. It's the red one, which is slightly sh stronger than diamond. So it is worth getting. So it makes a trip to this deadly dimension worth it. And as you can see, we have two suits of armor here. We have the Zitterite armor set right here. It is made out of, obviously, the Zitterite ingot. And we also have the Negite stuff, which is made out of the Negite gems, which are pretty awesome looking as well. We also have the... Oh, is it? It's getting dark. It's getting gloomy. It's getting troublesome. We also have the Necrotic... Uh, armor set and weapons as well well there's no armor set yet supposedly it's coming out soon we just have the weapons for it as of now not super powerful as you can see everything else is better than that but it's like the starting set in this dimension still pretty cool still pretty awesome and yes this dimension is terrifying look at this it, i just like the vibe of dimensions like this i'm not a super fan of the happy-go-lucky ones i like a challenge I like to be almost scared roaming around my Minecraft world. It is pretty awesome this one. And here we go. We've got some of the undead horses here. So let me spawn in some of the mobs from this dimension so you guys can see. So let's get the tormentors out in here. And we also have a giant. So these are the tormentor. And they are pretty creepy looking. I personally would not want to come across them. And we also have giants, which supposedly are rarely found wandering around this place. You don't want to come across them either, because 100 HP, they are going to kill you if you are not well equipped. And this dimension just looks epic. I'm sorry, it's my favourite one out of the two. But guys, let me know in the comment section down below, what is your favourite dimension out of the Good Night Sleep mod? This is definitely my one, but I would love to know your guys' thoughts and opinions. As always, guys, thank you so much for watching today. Hopefully you enjoyed it and got something out from this mod review. Until next time, guys, see ya.